Welcome back to Ultimate Radio. Is that the guard? No, that's not the guard coming through. There's the guard. Dang it. Well, I guess we're going to be following the guard through rather than, as I hoped, going through when they were facing the other way. Somebody else behind us going to be a problem, is there? So we're trying to get to Cripplewood's place to see if there's any information at his place uh, that might shed light on what's going on with his slightly unexpected murder. I mean, I kind of hope it wasn't an expected murder, at least for him. Nice clock tower. Is it? Is it functional? It could be, it's got object hands. It says it's uh, half past seven right now. Although it's dead on half past seven, so my guess is it's not actually functional. Because it was have been exactly on that in game time. At the moment, I haven't discovered it. it seems pretty slim. Alright, so then. Is that door open? One can never tell. How far does she go on her patrol? <clears throat> so Cripplewood's place is up there, so it's in this white building up. That she's walking past, okay. I think we have an opening. Wood. Now, it may have been less safe than I uh, hoped, but it was more safe than I feared. Oh, oh we got his key. Where's his key? Cripplewood's key. Of course, it opens into Garrett's face. Is that valuable? Never mind information on his murder, he's got loot. He's not going to be needing it anymore. I'm certainly going to be needing it. Hello, what's that? It's just a canister in the corner, it's not actually reachable. Cupable, as far as I can see. Alright. More food I can't pick up. You know, I want to eat all this stuff. Who are you? What the hell? Did I did I do that? Was I throwing wildly at the food and spook myself by opening the door? I think I might have. <laughs> oh my god, that is embarrassing. I was like, pro 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 pro, spook like the door. Somebody's coming in, then nobody comes in, that makes me even more spooked out. It's like, is there a ghost wandering this place, randomly opening doors, or? Uh, Garrett, you fool. All right. The only ghost in here would be the ghost of this poor barrack. evidence in his bathroom of anything amiss. I'm going to need a key for that. Maybe you can find it in here, let's hope. Oh, bright red light. That does not open. Key on top of the bed. About under the bed. Doesn't look like it. 
Under ledge. Over on top of the cupboard. Behind the cupboard, on top of the door. No, huh? I can try my master key. Uh, doors should be openable. Wooden doors should be bashable. That's part of what makes a wooden door a choice different than a metal door. Is Wooden doors let you say, I can't be bothered with the key hunt today. And it's a useful option to be able to say sometimes. There we are. Okay, it's not too terribly hidden. Alright. Crickle wood. Sure nobody disturbs us while we're in here reading whatever disturbing information he has. Hello? Dearest Mr. Cripplewood, you should be advised to not openly contact me. Please remember, while I am immune to all accusations, it is easy to place the blame onto you. But I'm sure you're aware of the risks you are taking. Most likely this is a matter of utmost urgency. You want me to take out a certain subject who belongs to the upper class. Looking at your payment, I probably should laugh out loud. Yet, I do know that I still owe you. Very well, however, you need to provide a few things. You need to obtain a poisoned arrow and place it into the male toilet at the Luna Azure. And please be sure to avoid any unforeseen mishaps. Until I arrive, that room needs to stay occupied by whatever means possible. How you achieve this, I do not care. And one more tip regarding the arrow. Be careful with it, and do not use it with the wrong target. Utensils such as these are quite expensive, if you misplace or lose my arrow, then our agreement has been terminated. Regards, MC. Aha. Uh -huh. Reasoned arrow in the male toilet, eh? Well, that's, uh... Maybe something I can, uh, investigate. Wow, quite a lock on this safe. I really invested in the in the lots of tumblers. Hello, I didn't mean to prob from within. I was trying to close the circuit, open it again, not into my face. Cathedral key, huh? Cathedral key. From Orange Diary. Oh wait, slash oh nine. Today I picked up my mail just like every beginning of the week, but today I saw a letter without return address. Who would send me an anonymous letter? Probably a bad joke, uh, but it turned out it was not. Rather, it was a tip-off. The letter mentioned an expensive and perhaps very powerful artifact. It is known as the element of the three powers. Whatever that means. The author of this letter let me know that I could find out more about this artifact within the local library north of the clock tower. Strangely though, he had no intention to meet with me as there was not even the slightest hint within the letter. I decided to postpone searching for the artifact and paid more attention to more important aspects. In addition, people noticed unrest in the city due to some kind of catastrophe in one of, near one of the construction sites in one of the parks. The tenth. Just like every night, I paid a visit to my favourite pub with a dancing burke. My drinking buddy told me that hordes of zombies have appeared near the construction site. A whole hammer army had to take care of it. I laughed so hard and thought he must be a patient in the local asylum. However, without seeing another word, he finished his drink and left the pub without looking me in my eyes. That should be the last I ever hear of him. Twelfth. I had nothing better to do today, and so I decided to continue my studies regarding this mysterious artifact, paid a visit to the library. Fortunately, not very many people were there to bother me and disturb my studies. After looking through various books, I finally found what I was after. However, I found disappointment again. The content referred to a chapter that was written in a very unusual language. Full of hope, I approached the local librarian, who did not mind my quest for help, and actually was a bit too friendly. Turns out he actually was one of the Hammer High Priests who was filling in for one of his friends this weekend. He, too, was unable to decipher this language, but he referred me to someone who would be able to. He mentioned a particular Lord Duncan, who not only is a pompous royal, but he's also a very experienced and wise historian. Thirteenth. The very next day I was off. 
Senri, a good friend of mine, and an archaeologist, join me on my quest. Lord Duncan's estate was a bit away from the city. The Hammer High Priest must have a lot of influence, since the guards let us easily pass. Lord Duncan himself greeted us at the door, and we went into his office. There, I showed him the book, and he carefully read the chapter in question. When he was finished, he said we would have to wait a bit, since he was rather busy at the moment, but that I should stay this, as his guest in his estate. 14th Entry 1 the very next morning, one of his servants came and led me into the Lord's office. The friendliness I was accustomed to from the day before had completely vanished. He questioned me harshly, how come I knew about this book? I mentioned briefly, briefly the anonymous letter, but he did not believe me. He left the office and lost the door. 14th Entry 2 I had been locked in the room for hours and had a lot of time to think about various things. Memories surfaced about Garrett, how I helped him in the past and vice versa. But since he had joined the Keepers, I have heard little of him except that apparently he is now considered a master in his art. Since there was a mail chute from this office, it was easy for me to write a letter and to mix it with the others. I prayed to the builder that the, that the address I had was still valid. Fifteenth, Bill to be praised, even though he had matured into a man, I recognised him easily. However, the joy of seeing him again ended abruptly when guards stormed the office and took Garrett into captivity. I could not understand what had happened. Sixteenth, Entry 1. It seemed I had finished my sentence. Lord Duncan finally let me go. He mentioned that he was unsure whether he could trust me. He wanted to meet me around noontime, but something came in between, and therefore the meeting was postponed to the evening in my favourite pub. Feelings inside me told me that Duncan probably is not the most sincere, and I immediately knew that he was merely using me. Without knowing, I lured one of my oldest friends into a trap. Once again, I prayed to the builder that Gareth would survive and escape from his estate. 16th, entry 2. I decided to leave his estate and to prepare for the meeting at home. Unfortunately, my room key must have slipped from my belt. Therefore, I could no longer enter my room. What an unfortunate event, as I carried more than half of my humble possessions with me. The possibility of finding a second key or finding a different entrance route I did not find. Therefore, I went back without my possessions, hoping that this artifact could earn me a few coins and more than make up for my losses. In my workroom, I once again read the anonymous letter and also Lord Duncan's letter. All of a sudden, I realised that the handwriting was identical. Why did Lord Duncan provide me with this information? What kind of game, in the name of the Builder, was he playing with me? I did not know, but it dawned on me that I'd better play along. Only if I would meet him tonight would I finally find out what is in that book regarding the element of the Three Powers. Fortunately, I was able to acquire the High Priest's key during my stay in the estate. Let's find out what else good old Nestor knows. Looks like I'm still on the right track. Okay... I've read Kilgore's letter. How come that just didn't take off? Cripplewood is dead, now the search for clues begins elsewhere, yes. Alright, find out anything you can about the element of the three powers. Let me read Kilgore's letter again, just see if that takes off. Just as a... I guess that's going to take off when I sabotage the factory. It's not an objective to read it, it's an objective to do the sabotage. Well, I need the second explosive device before I can do that. Alright, well... Make sure nobody else can get in and see the evidence. Alright. I think then I'm done in his house. Where's he now? I mean, I could go chase down the High Priest, I suppose. Uh, we could go to the construction site, but I think we'll go there later. Uh, we sh I should probably go back to the Lunar Azure and check out the upstairs toilet, huh? See if we can find this poison arrow. Uh, the library, maybe the library's also, the library's very close, maybe that's worth checking out beforehand. Right, where are we? So if I head around to the left here. That you? Shit. There's nobody there. See, told you. Listen to me when I tell you there's no one there. 
Oh, so he's still gonna be on edge. Public library locked. Let's hope it opens quickly because there's a guard on the way. I oh, know, it's a lamppost. It just looked like a guard, alright? Wonder if there's any useful information we can find here. Lots of boring books. So many boring books. Ah, I like the look of these books though. These are the these are the good books. Yeah. The round books made of gold? They're always my favourite. They have very little writing on them, but that makes them quick and easy to read. And the uh, beautiful noise, the ringing noise they make when you pick them up is also a joy. <laughs> I thought I saw something on top. I guess not. Can I pick any of these? Making a noise. I guess the answer is no. If we're going to open any of these, I'm going to need the, the actual keys for them. Well, I've got one already. Number two. What have we got? Holy water. It's three vials of holy water. We could have some fun here. Ah, and then we're just gonna get that open again anytime soon. Okay, anything on top of these shelves? <laughs> Apart from me? Doesn't look like it. Alright. God's going the other way. Alright, if we go that way, that's only going to take us to the factory, right? Yeah. So it seems irrelevant right now. Is that an open window? Behind the tree? It's very hard to tell, but it looks like it might be. But if so, I don't see a way to get to it. No, it's not. It's just my imagination. Probably just as, uh, checking up on me. Right, there's the town hall. Was that worth checking out? Maybe. Wonder if I can get into the town hall. Huh? What was that? One move and ah! you're dead. Die! Ugh. Can I get into the town hall? No. <clears throat> Mr. Body, unconscious body there. Had things to say about that? Well, uh, good thing I have some uh, healing potions, or at least one. Somewhere. Just the one. <sighs> I need to be more careful. Repeat. What is that place? That looks like it, it could be enterable, but there's a guard in front of it. It's not even labeled. It's also an enormous door. There is a signboard. God coming this way. Uh, hello? Anyone there? What a, what a silly idea that there would be somebody there. What a ridiculous concept.
Who's over there? Nobody. I think he turns around right here. Yeah. Purple, purple shirt. Oh, this place is so busy. We waited till later at night, Carrot, till everybody was. In bed and the guard patrols were reduced. So I can't just go back and forth up that way. How come I didn't see him before? Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, I, I shouldn't be doing this, but I want to go see what that plaque is, what the label is next to that guy. Can't read it from this distance. I have to get closer. Better be tapping around down here. Uh, not this time. He's far enough away from the door that I should be able to. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. <coughs> Up here to see. Civic courthouse, huh? Ooh, I can even break in. It's the inattentive guard. <sighs> kind of need to be careful coming out of here, though, because could easily be guards. Looks locked and the other doesn't. What were the proceedings today? I hate it. Always sitting around. Before this court opened, I had hoped for more interesting cases, but of course, I tend to dream quite a bit. Currently, there is a session regarding a female thief, and if she really did steal something, I wonder what was so expensive that it justifies a court case. The witnesses do not have anything to offer either. All say the same. Strange, as if they are all part of a plot, even the police director. He always has appeared strange to me anyway. He even left his office key here. How can one man be that forgetful? Well, I should stop writing down this story. It kills time, but what if someone will find it and read it? Once today's session is over, I need to make sure to take the director's key with me. Don't know what would happen if someone would find the key and this letter. Might, they might, you know, it's alright, I'll return the key for you. Take it to the police office and leave it inside. Just to be sure it won't get lost again. Dearest colleague, I very much thank you in coming to an agreement regarding this horrible thief, Anushka. I'm delighted to have found a companion in the fight against this law-breaking scum. You are obviously correct in that sometimes we have to use different methods against this rebel. Some of our colleagues may say this differently, but as you know, the end justifies the means. Your idea to blame her with the lunar azure theft is pure brilliance. Our witnesses have been primed and even the judge seems to be on our side, as I've found out. Especially the part that our very own police director Strapwein played cannot be underestimated. Who would believe a female thief that a police officer smuggled and placed the necklace into her possessions? Everyone nowadays comes up with that excuse, even though this time it is the truth. As I said, pure brilliance. As we speak, she is in custody at the police station waiting for tomorrow's case to begin. And since everything will happen as I have planned, she's guaranteed a lifelong cell in Cragscroft. With utmost sincerity, signed, Dr. Jur Philbinger, leading attorney. Even thieves know about solidarity. Prove the innocence of the accused. Huh. So, I mean, this letter will do it, but who do I prove it to? Do I leave this in the police director's office? But he's on their side as well. Okay. Yeah, 
Maybe the police sergeant then. I wish I could turn out this light. I mean, you know, it's supposed to be candles, but. Right, he was far enough away not to see me. Good timing. Fortunate timing. Alright, so now we have a couple more objectives back from related to places we've never been. We have the police director's key. Um, we have not found Mr. Hardwick in hotel room key 3, but we don't know. We need to go to the upstairs toilet again, so we need to head back the way we came. Uh, we'll leave this area for last, so I want to head to the left here. After we see where this... Oh, there's more than one? Guard that runs up and down there, okay, that's definitely part of what's been confusing me. Didn't see if there was any doorway into the uh, clock tower. But again, what's the mission I'm thinking of? Keeper of the prophecies, one of that one, one of those has a clock tower that you can go inside. Now, is that the civilian coming through, or is that the guard coming through the gates? Civilian. I would like to go through those gates, but I fear that if I do, I'll just walk straight on into the guard that. Controls there. Although, no, this seems to be them. What is this purple jacket? Oh, this purple jacket. One of the blue coats comes in, out through there. Ah, oh, he's fancy of being a rich. Lord has lots of guards of his own to play tricks on. So, guard friend, can't see. All right, where are we going from here? South seems good. Back to the city watch station, yes. <clears throat> What's that? Someone trying to break into the city watch headquarters? Couldn't possibly be. Okay, I'm getting stuck on it again. Oh, buddy. Okay, so one of the prisoners... Should be a prisoner in here now, right? No. Hmm. Okay, we need to get upstairs, which is the stairs are just behind him. Are they being interrogated, maybe? No, they don't seem to be here at all. What's... Is there a, another dungeon I haven't spotted, that I haven't been to? Guards there. So right, this was police director's office was up here, right? Yeah, let's get a long way around, I guess. 
we'll give us a little more time. That's right, they almost go in there because they do a little twirl and scared the hell out of me. I think it's the middle door. <clears throat> Alright, what's going on here? Police Inspection 3, Rudy Dutch Street, Corby. Announcement of arrest. Time of arrest, 9th of October, 2330. Name, Anushka, domicile, apartment building at the docks. Marital status single, job none, site of crime, Luna Azure, time of crime, 2100. Aggrieved, Miss Hilton, reason for arrest, report. Tonight, towards 2200, Gunther and I were put in charge of arresting the well-known thief, Anushka. The suspected person has already attracted the attention of official awareness due to multiple offences and has already been convicted. She was dispersed for having stolen a valuable jewel necklace in the Luna Azure from the honest Miss Hilton. As expected, Anushka was located in her room in the apartment at the docks. She resisted the arrest, but we were able to overcome her. During the searching of our clothes at the police station, the necklace was found and secured. Later, it was returned to Miss Hilton. Furthermore, the key to the apartment of the suspected room was secured and brought to the evidence room. Signed, GM Strokeback. Okay. See, like, I have this scroll, right? Where is it? This one. Right? Dropping it here is not going to prove any kind of innocence. It's not. This guy's in with it. So I don't really know what is wanted of me regarding proving innocence. And honestly, <laughs> proving innocence doesn't really count for much, although, in this sort of place. Ah, uh -huh, that's the key to the evidence room, I think. Right, I remember seeing... How close again? I remember seeing the door... Not going in. At least he's coming here. Oh, let's wait till he goes past. Room downstairs or upstairs? Don't remember. These are all opposites, right? I think it was downstairs. But uh, I should probably do a quick uh, quick check of these upstairs ones as well. Who's there? Who said that? Aha, uh -huh, here we are. This is it. Smoked evidence. Ooh, this is the sort of evidence. You know what? This is now evidence of a theft. Look at that. It's not there anymore. It proves somebody stolen and broke it. I mean, broken and stole it. And this kid's room. Okay. What do you do? Do we leave the letter in her room, maybe? For her compatriots to find? That would seem. A reasonable approach. So we can get down this ladder to check these shelves for more more evidence of, of burglary and theft, you know. 
And all of this on the evidence of of crates. Wow, this is the this is the boring evidence. So. All right, that's fine. I can't unlock it again. I can't lock it up again. So. Okay, well here's the stairs, so we're done here in the watch office then. Where is that downstairs patrol? Oh, he's over there, that's good. There. Yes, but uh, nobody you need to worry about. I know you saw me with a Rivero recently. It's such a terrible crime, is it, to want to climb? Please do not mix up the words. One of them, crime and climb, are two different concepts. Even if you have, you know, difficulty distinguishing two different uh, lateral approximants. The city watch always coming at the worst possible time. Oh, more cup of tea for me. seems too bothered about the body, honestly. Wow, your music is still excellent, my man. Let us see if the bathroom's vacant. I really need to go. It's not. All right. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Da -da -da. Where's the other note I have? Alright, I thought I had a note. The written in his diary about the poisoned arrow, right? That's not one of these. Yeah, hmm. Why is that not why did that not come into my inventory? I don't know. But this is a problem. I'm sure I can't break it down. Maybe there's another way in. I can't get in there, it doesn't even open. Is there another bathroom? Do you mind if I smash your window here, climb out on the ledge, and see if I can get into the bathroom that way? Yeah, you probably do mind. Hilton was a little necklace. Things are simply not like I understand. 
All right, where am I going then? Done that, but I haven't dealt with this yet. I'm going to have the cathedral key. I can give money what nest on it. It's not too far away. Or I could go and try and find Anushka's room. I don't think Anushka's room is going to lead me to more information about my primary problem here. Um, so north to the uh, cathedral. How do I deal with the hammerite at the front gate? How do I deal with these guys? Oh. Just rely on their blindness, I guess. Wait, where was the... bathroom located? It's not that window, is it? Well, it's not a breakable window. Judging by the lady suspicious here go by. Who's there? Is someone back there? Yeah, no, I guess the bathroom if it has a window, it is one of these side windows, yeah. We could try throwing a rip out of it. Functions. <laughs> we can see inside, but uh, can't do anything inside. Now I'm going to help myself getting down. I'm going to get out a slow fall potion. <laughs> really, what it's for there? Better wait till the cops have gone gone by, huh? Good thing they don't look up. <laughs> it's not just slow fall, it's very slow movement. Dang it, that's the one I should be looking in. That's just the whole way. Oh. Thank you, kind game, for your gift of health loss. I don't have anything to counteract that. Whatever, I'll take it. So the, that window isn't even the men's room, that's the ladies' room. In terms of the hammerites, I do have. Well, we can hope they've got a healing fountain, right? As they sometimes have. <clears throat> I was about to head out, but better wait. What was I saying? I do have a gas arrow, right? I've got one gas arrow. I could potentially use that on the hammerite at the front gate. So I don't know how else. I mean, maybe he's close enough, far enough away from the gate so I could sneak up from the side. I don't know. Again, I don't understand why I'm not lit here. This. The way the lights in the street are set up is odd. They're very shallow pools. They look much too bright for that. But, I mean, I guess it doesn't mean there's places to hide, which otherwise there's not a ton of. To go out there and turn to the right. Got the archer coming, that's not good. Timing. Wait, that, that, so that guard went up that lane as well.
Yeah. Sick god party here in the streets. I feel like most of the time I'm spending in this mission is just waiting for guards on the street to pass by to give me a chance to move, but, uh... Alright, now I can move. There's Miss Suspicious coming along too. She didn't come this way. No, this rich man does. Okay, I don't think any guards walk the opposite direction around this circuit. So it's reasonably safe to follow this guy, I believe. Church is just around this corner. If I remember the church, it was not a very safe zone. Quite a number of guards going different directions, and it opens up onto a multi-directional kind of thoroughfare. It actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe I can just walk up to that hammer right on the side. Just need the cathedral key. What am I walking into? traditional music here in this Hammer Cathedral. Brothers, I will not be available tonight. I have a meeting in the Luna Azura to discuss Garrett's escape. Please do not disturb me and do not expect my return before midnight. Signed, High Priest Nesta. I need to find a key for this. High Priest Nesta, private. Fair enough. Oof, that's a little too big in its hitbox. Daily City Gazette, page of of science. Great colloquium of the outstanding scientists of our time scheduled. Guest article, Bernard Berber about the reproduction of the Cymex Lectularius. Group of scientists following Heimer Oppen deny the existence of God. Swiss historian aghast, is their national hero only a myth? These hammerites. Forty-four eighty. Okay, we're not too far off the goal. We've hit the uh, the hard difficulty goal. We're Fifteen hundred short. I can hear somebody whistling. I wonder if they're in this room. Does sound like it. Stand forth and speak thy like at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet, yet also with the hands of a builder. He will lift us up from the earth.
Hammer and will forge and fire. Chase away the hoofed liar. Plants? Roof and doorway, block and beam. Chase the trickster from our dream. I suppose you are... I'm alright, it's not Magnus. You know what? I want to jump on your bed. I'm afraid that I will fail mantle it and make a lot of noise. So I'll just knock you out instead. Sleep well. Alright, so Nestor has a key, but... Uh... It's not going to do me much good. Okay, there's, there's, there's what? All the other library locker keys are missing so far, right? Four of them? <laughs> Hello? Is there something back there? I just saw a patch of carpet. I'm just wondering if maybe I missed something in here, key wires or anything. I mean, as I say, it's very non-traditional uh, music for Hammerites, but uh, the refrain is Hallelujah, which is, I suppose, not really Hammerite language, but, you know, maybe it works. What are you hiding up here? Don't tell me you're not hiding anything. You wouldn't. What Hammerite would put beams like this here and not hide something on them? Roof and doorway, block and beam. Chase the trickster from our dreams. How am I gonna get down now? Oh, I can waste the river, right? <laughs> that was close. All right, that's, that's all right. I didn't have myself there. Well, that's hiding something. Even if it's only a stained glass window, do I do I risk burning it? How would I even get up there? I quick save. I can I can kill the banner. <laughs> it's a badly textured stained glass window. No wonder they hit it. Uh. Poor, the poor uh, builder apprentice who uh, put that there is, is uh, wrangled for weeks trying to get the uh, stained glass to line up, but to no avail. And finally, in shame, he put a banner in front of it, and nobody knew until now. Say it's just rich man, but it does sound like there's a guard behind them. Yes. Dynam is also wanted for a thousand gold, okay. Let's see, uh... The guy from the, uh... Hotel. All right. We need a key to get into Nesta's room. So okay, you'll do is my usual markings for key. <laughs> In which case. I am quite at a loss as to where to go. I mean, Hybrid Nesta said he'd be at the Luna at zero as well, so maybe it's time to go back there again. No, I'm gonna see if I can take care of any other business. 
like this factory, for example. Or maybe the courtyard of the dancing barrack. There's more to offer. Seeing as I've not actually been here, hello. There was a guard there. but I didn't really want you to know. <laughs> Whose house is this? Nobody's? Hmm. Odd. Feels very much like a house of significance and yet there is none to be found just me looking around <laughs> about that alleyway who knows there might be something there how would I How to get past this guy? <laughs> exactly through here. We have enough distance from here for him not to get startled, and then we have the wall between us. <laughs> of course, this could be no place as well. It is no place. Nothing at all. Alright. Still, not clever. Finding a way around the guard who was kind of probably not supposed to just be parked there. So, you know. Nothing like a good bit of old fashioned sneaking to make one feel sneaky. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going back in the dancing barrack. Where are we going? <sighs> All right, let's go. Let's go look out here. Uh, I we haven't been there yet. Let's go to the west and south, and uh, it's not just that we haven't been there yet. It's, we do have to go to the factory. But before we go to the factory, we have to find this damn second bomb. How about we check out the KGB, huh? Costumer service? Music from Brazil is just like... Uh, Compendium for KGB Associates and Plays. Dear colleagues, lately there has been a lot of criticism regarding our agency, which is all far fetched, of course. To avoid these in the future, a few hel helpful hints for the customer service. As a target audience, search for detached old ladies to prevent any upcoming of criticism. You should avoid contact of persons and groups with judicial background, as well as authors, journalists, and other beings which have no positive effect on our community. Be exceedingly disc discreet. Nobody needs to know that you're working for the KGB. Always have, a, have some excuses ready, like, I ran out of firewood, can I use your fireplace? Or, can I please heat up my sausages? Naturally, the resistance of men is the weakest at 7pm at midnight. Avail this. You shall find more useful directives and d details in the directive 074622. Signed, W. Wolf, Foreign Supervisor. Dear Associates, according to the newest directive of our manageress, the writing of text, which is discriminating genders, is prohibited. We suggest the following guidelines. Write Doomsayer and Doomsayeress. Furthermore, we ask you to greet all costumers and members gender-free. Safety standards are Doomsayerdom and member of the Reluctant to Pay group. Gender-free greetings, the board of directors. Reception. Hello?
As I said, the, the uh... Well, I forget the actual name of this song, but to me it's... Inevitably associated with the film Brazil. I mean, I mean the song is called Brazil, right? Um, which is really what the film, the film was named after the music track. Uh, which is unusual for a film to be named after a soundtrack, but you know. Complaints department, hello. They've got a, they've got a mail slot check and reach through. Mailbox, right. Uh, also, in, in inevitably associated me with um, Gravity Bone by Blender Games. Great little game. Circular to all co-workers of the customer service area. I have to insist on our in-house directives, which plan that all the complaint letters gather until the necessary amount of fuel can be provided. There's no use burning some letters too soon, as the generated heat energy does not compare to the effort put into the burning of aforementioned complaints. I ask you to consider that. Please make sure that the exhaust hood is used according to DIN 451. I don't have to remind you to where our dear ex-associate was relocated when we found out he did not care for this rule. Guy Montag, Supervisor. You don't have anything up on here, do you? Feels like one of you guys should be uh, having some... Some library keys from Hello, we've got... Order lifts again, huh? Well, hang on. Let me save. Because who knows whether I might fail mantle. Archives and water closets. That's a strange thing to mix up. Toilets indeed. Dear colleague, I am rather excited by your desire to be part of our beloved authority, especially about your suggestions regarding possible ways to save extra money. I would like to make a few comments. The usage of glowing mushrooms rather than real lights is surely a nice idea, cost and efficiency wise, especially since we do have other costs that are on the rise, electronics and gas to name a few. However, because of the usage there are also a few disadvantages. Many employees complain about the sweet and sour smell that the mushrooms emanate, causing people's work and productivity to suffer greatly. Mostly, some employees have mentioned that some of the mushrooms require constant care. If I may quote one particular employee, I did not become an officer just to perform garden work. And unfortunately, she declined the suggestion to be part of a project Green Thumbs for Officers due to time and money constraints. That is why your suggested proposal for ecological and natural lights at the workspace will most likely not be accepted in the near future. Further, your idea to completely eliminate the anti-corruption authority is certainly ponderable, but may also be limited to secondary to certain laws. But do not worry, employees of the anti-anti-corruption authority are already working on this little problem as we speak. Oh, and your idea regarding three seashells as a substitute for toilet paper, this you do have to please explain to me in more detail. Sincerely, S. Phoenix. See, the other problem with your glowing mushrooms for uh, office lighting is uh, they're fragile. They just break like that. As you've now found out. Good officers they have here. I mean, this is this place that the weird bureaucracy and tiny. Uh, um, what am I on? Like, am I just hovering here? That was a bad mistake, actually. I shouldn't have done that, because this is going to be a problem jump. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. Feels, feels kind of modeled after Brazil as well. There's tiny officers that's down there. The movie. Not the country. The country has larger officers than that. At least some. Dear associate, I want to ask you to invest your intellectual potential into something else. Who cares whether our authority has to pay KTV dues? We never did that anyway, and after all, what would the people think of us if we were to obey the law? I couldn't bear thinking about what disastrous consequences that would have for the administrative system. Unfriendly greetings. Kisela Schnabeltasa, Substitution Director of the Department for Official Advising. 
speaking of dues, you do have to pay your tapper dues. That's non-negotiable. So Office of the Foreign Board of Directors. No. Feels like it's more just the director's office rather than the board of directors. Same. This is, it feels like a mistranslation. Um. Same with the police department. It was, it was the police captain's office, but it was labelled board of directors and talked about as the police director. Well, you get away, with police director. I suppose it's a little strange, but the commissioner or captain or something. Training room for prospective field workers. But one person at a desk does not make up a board of directors. Anyone dropped any valuables under the desk? No? Shame. <laughs> Nothing in the training room. Not even a single train. You know what, come to think of it. To check out the director's office again some more because who knows if they might be hiding a library locker key right it's not like bank vault keys but i don't know who's likely to have a library locker probably not important people right they they don't need to lock stuff up in a library yeah doesn't seem to i didn't check on top of the door Never mind. Oh, that door doesn't open. Okay. I go for the fire ladder just because it seems easier to reach. Well, so much for the KGB. Feel that energy saving proposal to turn the lifts off. It was well received. Oh, they are coming down this way. Okay, I thought they might be. Okay, we've finished with the KGB office. Um, we're in this hallway, so we need to go down to the west. Hallway. Street. Thing. I think there's Miss Suspicious up there. Not a good shadow. Not that it matters enormously just yet, but... And what? Where are we? Okay, both of these take us to the same place, but that way it takes us around past the city watch, which we do not need to go past them again. Alright. Now that's a balcony I have not been up on. Can is it possible to get up there, I wonder? I think the door was not a door that opened. So probably not. Alright, you don't bother me, mate. But Here's the guard behind you. Hmm? Hello? One of them was. Well, seems clear. All right. Well, the factory's that way, but let's check out the park and things. We have holy water. We have some water arrows. We've got like one fire arrow if we desperately need to dispatch zombies, but. Zombies are usually pretty easy to avoid. They're not the smartest creatures. They're, you know, about 10 IQ more than the guards. But their vision is worse. Nudie Park. Seems like a pretty quiet location.
Hello. Hello. Old nuggets. What the hell? Am I right out for a morning run or what? False alarm, I guess. Oh, he's gone to heroically fight zombies. What's that? I guess it's nothing now. Oh, good work, guys. Look, you knocked at the Pieces. Wow, that's that's excellent hammer work. Just don't use those hammers on me, and we'll be we'll stay friends. So that's the way to the construction site, and unfortunately, I think that's probably where I'm going to find my other explosives. Kind of surprised to see a hammer going for a job through the park and uh Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Don't know where he came from. Well, there he is. That's not a door, I expect this is probably that is a door. Are you gonna notice me if I go in there? Lucky this time! Never Come here, I shall spy thee out. <laughs> well, he... He did see me, but he can't pass to this corner, which is... What I thought! But lucky for me... This is a rather awkward corner. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem while I try and get back. Ninth. I can't believe it. Father found a job. And it doesn't stop improving there. He's working right here at the building lot, at the end of the street. It'll be a little hospital, but they aren't anywhere near completion. They are initially preparing the foundation. The work is hard, but it is ten times, a uh, thousand times better than having to move out and famish on the streets. The thing that is most scaring me is that, is that earlier the city watch hunted down people without existence. But these poor guys never did any harm to anyone. But a noble may torture his servants unhampered. A lazy bunch of idiots, never having to move a muscle. No wonder that most of them are so fat. Fifth. This week has been mind-numbing. There's nothing going on in the city. Well, except the new Hammerite factory opened. And after the move, my friends are all so far away. I hope the father will make any money soon. So I can buy new ink and paper. Oh, how I'd like to write to my friends. Well, after all, I have got my little sister, Larisha. Sixth. Today, father told me that they had found a tunnel up building lot. It seems likely that it has been dug by feral barks. Of course, the mayor was informed and he wants to send in an investigation crew. For what? Are they hoping to find some treasure down there? Haven't these grabbing people already raked in enough money? Well, I would seal the entrance off. Who knows what evil creature's lair might be there. Eighth, I knew it. Two voluntary workers did not return. Exactly as the next ones who were supposed to find them. I think there is something creepy going on there. Perhaps undead are lurking in these cells? My hammerite uncle Arjeb has taught me many things about those living dead. They despise all life and are doomed to an eternal miserable existence. And the worst. Not even the strongest slash by a sword can harm them. And if a creature is some clo so close to deal a blow, its fate is sealed. Ninth. A catastrophe. In the middle of the night I woke up due to a terrible racket outside. I did not trust my ears. I heard people shrill and strange snarling sounds. I ran to the window and nipped myself, but it was not a dream. It was gruesome truth. For the first time I saw them with my own eyes, the terrible undead. I saw that a group of them had surrounded a man, struck by his fear. I felt as if all my hair straightened up. I'll never forget that scream. The man was torn apart. I wanted to scream, but my voice failed. Another group of undead chased other people who were trying to flee. Suddenly a thought crossed my mind. Barricade the door before they come in. Fortunately, the undead were busy so that they did not yet notice our house. In father's room, I made a terrible discovery. He was gone, which led me to the thought that he is out there. I had only hoped that he has escaped the zombies. Only that hope kept me moving. Suddenly I heard something shake the door. That was it. My containment has come to an end. I screamed with such an audibility that I have never screamed with before. That was the point where Larisha woke up, but unfortunately I realised that too late. 
calmed down after a few minutes. The fist shaking at the door was gone. Then I heard Larisha scream. I lunged out of her and saw her standing in front of the window. Gruesome things happened in front of our window. City Watch has arrived, but they have no chance against the massive zombies. It was just another prey for them. I did not feel how Larisha latched onto me during the massacre. In the very moment when all hope seemed lost and a new group of zombies was heading to our door, salvation did arrive. A battalion of Hammerite warriors arrived and managed to cover the zombie army with volley after volley of holy water arrows. Everywhere, zombies exploded and their parts were flying through the air. Although the danger was over, we couldn't sleep for the rest of the night. Larisha kept crying all the time. She was totally unapproachable. I kept worrying about father and hoped not to find his lifeless body outside in the tomorrow. As the morning grew close, everything became quiet, but the silence was eldritch. The air is full of the smell of death. It was even worse in front of our house. It was so terrible I can't describe it with the words. A few hammerites went patrolling nearby, but I did not note them, as I saw the body of my father, close to the lot. I do not remember myself what happened in the next minutes, but I was told that they were vainly trying to calm me down. They carried away my sister. I can still see her ashen face as her whole body was trembling and she muttered muddle-headed gibberish. Every attempt to talk to her was futile. Fifteenth. It was hard for me, but I did return today. Now I live in the house of Aunt Isabella in Shalebridge. The days I spent there did help me, although I still think about my father, and especially Larisha. I wonder how she's doing. Everything has returned to normal around father's house, and most of the human remains have been carried away. Only the lot is to be avoided. They built a small protective barrier to separate it from the city. I hope the city manages to find a way to end the danger for all time. 17th. Now, how was that 15th versus 9th? Yeah, so six days later. 17th. I've been here one last time to get some of my things. I decided to leave the diary here. Too many aching memories. For all those who, for whatever reason, entered this house, this diary is a warning. This way I can perhaps prevent more casualties. Well, I've been duly warned. Did you leave any other valuable warnings? Golden warnings, perhaps? Library key warnings would be acceptable as well. No. Alright. I guess this is our way into the lot. Past the barrier. Where all the zombies are. And you know what? Feels like a pretty good place to end this episode. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for the next one.